Hello, everyone. What's up? We did it. <laughs> That's crazy. So today I have a special guest. Not too special, pretty common. You're special because you're one of the two main characters. And I thought Sonia wanted me in this video, so I sat down and she's like, Oh, you want to be in the video? She didn't even expect me to be in it, but I volunteered. Yeah, it's because for this video, we will talk about what happened before the wedding. So the month before the wedding, how I felt, how we felt, we'll be talking about feelings, emotions, stuff that he's usually not too comfortable sharing. So I'm like, you want to be in the video? Yeah, I'm happy. But so this is going to be the theme of the vlog. So enjoy it. I actually wrote down a few points because there is so much I want to talk about. But the first, first point is um, how we felt when we were still in Japan. So we were in Japan for like three months. Then we came to Italy for two weeks and we got married. So we didn't have a lot of time in Italy before we got married. So how about you? How was your time in Japan? I think being in Japan kind of kept me like away from the awareness of a imminent wedding because your mom was here doing so much planning and preparation and we were just like in Japan like la 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 our wedding is coming up so the constant awareness like that it's coming was definitely reduced but of course I thought about it every day and I was anticipating it and excited for it. I totally agree. Even though we were doing things in Japan for the wedding, we were far away. Like it was, I was excited, I knew it was coming, but totally chill, no pressure, no anxiety. Yeah. There was one thing I had to do in Japan and I was like, oh my God. I had to write my vows in Japan. So guys, first of all, you have to understand that I had never thought I would have to write my vows. Because the Italian tradition, they don't do that. But since we had a mixed ceremony, I had to write my vows. And I had to talk about my feelings and how much I love him in front of everybody. And I was like, <gasps> it was... <laughs> guys, I'm trying to write my vows. First of all, I'm not a private person at all, but it's very hard for me to express my best feelings. I keep writing, 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 erasing, writing, erasing, writing, erasing, like... <laughs> was it fine for you to write your vows? It was fine for me. I didn't have any problem at all. When you really love someone, it's easy to write. No, them. that's... Let's talk about when we went back to Italy. I told you we had two weeks before the wedding. The first week, just came back from Japan, we had like three meetings every day, three appointments with the makeup artist, with the hairstylist, with the photographer, with the rental car. So many things, it was so hectic, but it was fun. I was happy, I wasn't feeling anxious, I wasn't stressed about the wedding. It was cool, I got to pick my hairstyle, I got to pick the this and that and that. Fine, how about you? Coming back from Japan, of course, <clears throat> the wedding got more and more real and we were definitely busy with appointments, but again, like, I was pretty chill the whole time. Then for the second week, uh, Brian's family started coming because it was <coughs> right before the wedding. So yeah. his mom arrived and then his dad and Chris and his sister and brother-in-law and it got even more hectic because there were things we needed to do for the wedding. There were things we needed to do to be good hosts and because we wanted to enjoy Brian's family being in Italy, but it was yeah, like when at first my mom came by herself for the first week and she and I went to Venice and then literally two days before the wedding everyone else arrived and then it, it was starting to get like boom 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 because we had to go to the airport and pick him up and then three hours later the other family member arrived so we had to go get him. All this organization and taking people to the train stations and metro stops like of course I mean it was what we expected so in the end yeah. it was chill. But I don't want it to seem like we didn't enjoy having your family here because I totally enjoyed it and it was so important that they came because it was such a big day and like they're my family now that so was fun totally happy it was fun too like seeing their reactions to Italy but I think personally and I think that's normal even though I was very chill and relaxed and everybody was like I can't believe you're this relaxed and you're getting married in 10 days or a week even though I was very relaxed I think maybe deep down 
I was still getting married so it, it is a big thing it is a big decision and I think right before the wedding so when Brian's family arrived and there were many things to do I started to feel that anxiety actually it was super chill except for two days before the wedding I want to be fully honest I did feel some anxiety I did feel the need to just be by myself no people no even my family because my mom was always in my house helping me so thank you but I don't know I felt a little overwhelmed but that was just uh, two days before the wedding because besides that I think we handled it pretty well it was so fun for me to have my family seeing Italy like my world through their eyes and just seeing their reactions and impressions on everything was like super fun were you ever nervous about the wedding like getting married to me honestly no the thing that made me most nervous, and I can't believe I'm even gonna say this, but there's like a serenade where you have to go to Sonia's house the night before and like sing a song. So I did that and like that's what made me the most nervous because I was like, I don't want to sing. But after the serenade, I was like, oh, I'm chilling. And then like the following morning, the wedding day morning, like I woke up like just chilled around because the wedding was in the afternoon and I was like, I don't know what to do. Like I played a game of chess on my phone and I was like, okay, I'm getting married later. Might as well play a game. Okay, can I tell them what I did with the serenade? No, just kidding, of course. So this is the cool part of being in an international relationship. I wanted a serenade. This Brian... makes you look bad. Okay, well, it's something small, but I wanted a serenade because I know that it's not in Brian's personality and that if I didn't use this wedding to my advantage, I would never have a serenade. So I told him that it's really important for Italians, it, it's truly part of our tradition to give a serenade to the bride the night before the wedding. She convinced me. I was like, it's so important, like you have to do it because it's the Italian tradition and he believed me. I was tricked and I don't know why I didn't ask around a little bit more until like the night before when her mother and father both said like, what? That's not a tradition. It is. In some and I was like, Sonia, would it, would it be okay if I don't do the serenade? And she's like, yes. But I would be very disappointed. No, I didn't AKA, say no. no. I didn't say yes, but I would be very disappointed. I was like, yes, it's fine. But he practiced. Sonia, if you said that, I never would have done it. Let's be real. I didn't want to do it. It was the thing. It, it gave me more anxiety than the wedding itself. <laughs> I am sorry, but I will cherish that moment forever. It's over now, so it's whatever. It's because whatever. the night before the wedding, I didn't sleep at my house with him. I went to my grandmother's house and she has a balcony. So he went down there and he started singing for me and it was perfect and I loved it and I know you will never do it ever ever again so I'm sorry I tricked you but but for me the day before the wedding I felt calm this is the day before the wedding tomorrow at this time I'll be leaving my house my grandma's house to go to marry Brian that's crazy I wanted to say that today I'm feeling more calm the biggest thing is when we were in Japan I thought that for my wedding I would mainly want to have fun with the others and enjoy my friends and everybody but now that it's before the wedding with the organization I haven't had a lot of time to spend just with Brian I'm like I really want to spend time with Brian tomorrow I really want it to be our day like as a couple and I'm happy and I miss him he's now having his bachelor party but should be okay yeah i'm excited it's raining though <laughs> it's raining all week has been so nice and sunny and hot and today's raining but today's not tomorrow so i'm happy i was relaxed i went to the hairdresser to do stuff to my hair i was with my mom with my aunts maybe i just felt better and ready and happy and i didn't have any pimples so i was so happy and now the morning of the wedding because i will share a video of the wedding and i will talk more about it but now i don't want to give you too much information about the wedding day but the morning when i woke up i felt ready Same. It was really I kind of stayed up fun. late the, pre the night before because I knew I could sleep in and I was just like thinking and I actually started watching Sonia's vlogs <laughs> and I realized how much we had been talking about the wedding and just like so many experiences it was kind of like a precious moment because I was like I'm getting married tomorrow and like I think I was on YouTube and Sonia's video was recommended and I watched it and then like I just started watching more because I was like this is all our, our story and our story is like climaxing tomorrow to a marriage so I stayed up kind of late watching her videos. 
So I'd say overall, I was a very chill bride. Didn't freak out too much about things, if I can say so myself. Except for two days after, before the wedding. I'd but it was so. just one day. And I really enjoyed having your family, my family, my mom helped so much. Like, thank you. And thank his you. mom, like, she gives super chill vibes. I think his mom is the chillest person on earth. So that was good to have her in the house when I was feeling anxious. Yeah. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and be ready for the wedding Oh, we ain't video. talking about the wedding day? No. I... We will after I post the video that I am editing myself. So, so guys, thank you for watching this. I opened up. There's really not a lot of things that I don't want to share. So if you have any questions, leave a comment. I opened up. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised when you wanted to be a part of this video. <laughs> See you soon! Ciao! Ciao!